Hi everyone, welcome to Mark's 900, I'm Mark. Now have a listen to this. Okay, that's the sound of silence, and that's a sound I'm never gonna hear again because I've got raging tinnitus in both ears. So 24-7, I've got this really loud screaming noise, and if you're a sufferer of tinnitus, you wouldn't want that to get any worse. And if you haven't got it, trust me, you don't want it. Now as motorcyclists, we're subjected to quite a lot of noise. It's wind noise that goes rushing past our helmets. It's not necessarily the noise from the engine or the exhaust pipes. So we have to do something about that to stop damage to our hearing. So there's a whole bunch of options on the market. So I'm gonna go through a couple of those and I'm gonna have a bit of an experiment with my last option. To start with, you could go out and get yourself a nice new helmet and spend a lot of money and buy one of these helmets that claims to cut down on all the wind noise. Now, my helmet was about 200 pound, but I could probably spend 400 and get one of these fantastic helmets, but there's no guarantee that it's gonna work, you see? Just because it's quiet for me, doesn't mean it's quiet for the next person. It all sort of depends on the style of riding, the angle you hold your head, your fairing, and all that sort of stuff. So, yes, you could spend that money, and if you're in the market for a new helmet, maybe one of the criteria is um, how much it cuts down on wind noise, but actually you probably wouldn't want to go out and spend £400 specifically for that. So that's a different helmet. Now, I'm a big fan of uh, proper ear defenders that sit on top of your head like this. I've used them a lot in the past for shooting and things like that. But the problem with that, of course, is you can't get a helmet on. So that's out of the question as well. The next thing you could try is this. Now, I've seen it done several times, especially on shooting ranges, but I really wouldn't recommend it. and It's not worth further discussion. Then, of course, you could go down the road of cheap, very cheap earplugs. Now, I got these free with something else. And they're made of something that's a bit like polystyrene. So they kind of squidge up and they very quickly expand back to their original shape. So getting those into your ear is a bit of a challenge, to be honest, and I don't particularly get on very well with them. Also, they cut out all the noise once you do get them in, and you might want some of the noise to actually come through, as we'll talk about in a moment. So I've kind of discounted those as well. The other thing you can do is go with the cheap uh, plugs. So these are ones, little plastic plugs that just plug into your ears, and you can buy them in packs of 50 or so, a bit like you can with these. They work okay, and it's worth keeping a set of those in your back pocket if you like. But the ones I prefer to that are these, um, these foam ones that come in with their own little holder. And um, unlike the cheap foam, you squidge these up and they keep that squid shape for quite a while. So you've got plenty of time to get that into your ear, hold it in place, and it expands into the ear canal and bobs your uncle. You've got an airtight seal in there and you get no noise through at all. Well, obviously you get a little bit of noise, but not much at all. They do, however, take a while to expand out. And it's not ideal if you want to put these in and out on a ride. I guess if you're doing a really long ride and you didn't need to talk to anyone and you haven't got an intercom, these would be just the job. But actually, if you're in a social rider, and perhaps you're stopping for a coffee, taking these in and out, or you want to talk on your headset, they're not ideal. But again, it's a, it's a really good option for something you can keep in your back pocket just in case you lose your other ear protection. So speaking of losing ear protection, I've also gone on the route of going with the most highly recommended set of ear defense, which is the uh, Auritec plugs. I found them pretty tricky to fit, to be honest. And so I find that uh, if I just move my head sideways or if I smile too much or open my mouth, this one in particular would drop out of my ear. So perhaps it's just that they don't suit my particular shape of ear. Uh, the other problem I had with them is at round about £22 for a pack of two, uh, they're not the sort of things you want to lose. And so far, I've lost two packs of them. So a little bit too expensive for me uh, because they don't work that well and because I lose them. But they may suit you. And, you know, when they're in and they're working, they do a fantastic job. So I've now gone down the road of these things, which are MotoSafe um, earplugs. And there's different types available because what they are is a small, flexible earplug and on the end is a filter that only allows certain noise through. And they work really well. So because they're smaller than the Auritech type things, and because they're much more flexible, it's really easy to just pop those into your ear and job done. It really is that simple. And they don't come out when I put my helmet on, and they do have this filter, so it stops the noise of the bike, but it allows through the noise of my intercom and so on. So there we go then. That is the thing that I use at the moment for my ear protection. I think they're really good and they come in a nice little carry case, and there are other brands available, and some of the other brands, things like um, Earpiece and things like that, uh, come with changeable filters on the end, which is a great idea. So, 
that's what I keep for my ear protection. And then I've also got a pair of those which I keep sort of tucked away just in case I lose one of those. And these come in at about £10 a set. These come in at peanuts, uh, you know, they're phew, pence. But then there's the idea of the custom fit earplugs. Now, I've seen on my Facebook feed that you can get somebody to come around your house, tip some sort of goo into your ears, which sets, they take a mold of your ear, they take it away, and then they send you a perfectly molded set of earplugs that will fit your ears, despite whatever weird shape they might be. Well, that sounds like a great idea. And actually, they start at about £100, and they go up from there, because you can have ones with speakers in, and you can have different sorts of sound attenuation and all sorts of things. So they start at £100, and to be honest, that's a little bit pricey for me, because as I've already said, I'm quite good at losing these things. So how about the DIY version then? Well, RNG certainly make um, a mixture that you can mix up, tip into your ears. Apparently, you get about five minutes, you can push it into your ears, make them molded perfectly, uh, they set, you pull them out, and Bob's your uncle, you've got a set of earplugs. Again, they come in at around about £20, and being a complete cheapskate, I decided to go for a, an alternative, which look kind of the same, and these are called DIY earplugs. So, I'm going to give these a go. Never done it before. Uh, it's got disaster written all over it, if you ask me. I, uh, I think probably I'm going to have to work quite quickly with these, from what I've read. So I'm going to have a go at making those now, and let's see just how easy or difficult that is. So I've cleared my desk then. I'm just left with uh, my silicon mixture, my instructions, which I've given a very quick once over, um, a knife to cut the silicon up with, and my wife's hairdressing mirror. I've also got my specs so that I can read the instructions. And interestingly enough, it starts off by saying, you've been supplied with silicon to create three earplugs. Uh, interesting, so presumably, like James T. Kirk, I've got a left ear, a right ear, and a final front ear, but no. Of course, the, we've included the extra silicon to allow one trial earplug, which will allow you to experience using the silicon material, the method and the procedure. Okay, and it also says, um, caution, you must use a mirror or a willing assistant to help you. Uh, so I'm going with the mirror option. Right then, looking at this, what I now have to do is split that up into three sections. Now I have to mix those two together for approximately 30 seconds and then roll the silicon mixture into a round uniform ball. After I've done that, I should take no longer than a few minutes to get this squeezed into my ear. Well, that does seem like a pretty airtight seal and I can't hear anything through that ear or not a lot through that ear anyway. So that seems to have done the job. But I'm going to wait now for that just to cure and uh, we'll see how long that takes. Well, that was 15 minutes of having the goo stuffed in my ear and what came out of it was that. I've got to say, it's rather impressive. And to put it in, I sort of put it in at 90 degrees and then twist and it pops back into my ear. So dead easy to fit. They look complicated, but they do go in quite well. They feel a little bit odd uh, because they're not kind of inserted into the ear like most of these ear, uh, ear plugs are. They sit on the outside, so it sort of feels almost as if they're gonna fall out, but of course they're not. And it's definitely blocking all the noise. So I think that's done a really good job. And what I'm gonna need to do now is make two more, uh, then I'll fit them, go and take them for a test ride. Okay, so that's both sides done now. And I've got to say, I am genuinely impressed with these. Uh, it went really well. It was dead easy to do. Uh, they fit in nicely. They're not too difficult. Take a bit of fiddling. There we go. So they fit in my ear nicely. I've got a carry case. Uh, I suppose the only test now is just to see what they're like with a helmet on, whether I can still in my intercom, and what it's like when I go for a ride. So I'm going to go and try that now and report back in. Right, there we go then, back from the test ride. And I've got to say, I found those to be absolutely fantastic. They didn't fall out of my ears, they blocked all the noise they needed to block, and they let through the intercom. 
So, easy to use, they do the job. Uh, my conclusion to that, I think, is that I'm a convert. I think I'm gonna be using these from now on. So, thanks very much for watching. Hope you found that useful, and um, I'll see you again in the next video.